Hello, my friends. Welcome to my first impression and try out of the Bosha Charcoal Jelly Ball Cleanser. You pop this thing and then it's jelly and you rub it all over your face and it cleans your face. And I thought that would be oddly satisfying and wonderful. So I wanted to share that experience with you right now. I first saw this product on Raw Beauty Christie's channel and I was so excited when I saw how much she enjoyed it. We're gonna get the ball out of the packaging while we talk about it because I just have to feel what this thing feels like even before we do anything. Okay, so it's got this tape around it that you remove. And then inside, la, it's like a legit balloon. Look at that, that is crazy. Oh my gosh, some jelly just fell off, that is weird. It looks like a crystal ball, like this thing might be able to tell my future. When will I get 100,000 subscribers? Will it ever happen? <laughs> It's not telling me. I wonder why. This is made by Bosha. One thing that I found very interesting is that Bosha says that they do not use preservatives in any of their products, which I found absolutely fascinating because I that's just like not possible to me. So I read up on it and it says, because preservatives in skincare products are one main cause of skin irritations, Bosha uses state-of-the-art Japanese technology along with its unique manufacturing and filling process to ensure the products are free of preservatives, stay fresh, and are exceptionally effective. They do recommend using up any of their products within six months. Uh, one thing you do need to know about Bosha is they are not cruelty free. This is what they say. They say, as we continue to expand into international markets, we are unable to control the testing methods used by outside governments. They neglect to mention that they can control, that they do sell to these countries that do animal testing, which <sighs> the wording is a little irritating. <laughs> All Bosha products are 100% gluten-free, however, uh, but the product does contain latex. I guess the balloon is made out of latex. So if you have a latex sensitivity, you do not want to touch this. Uh, it does say you're supposed to avoid contact with the eyes, which totally bums me out because I was really looking forward to using this to remove my eye makeup. So I brought my Clinique Take the Day Off for my eyes, and then this is just going to cleanse my face. One thing I want to talk about when I use this is whether it feels drying or not. I find and then when I use really cheap, you know, low quality cleansers, my face just feels completely stripped where when I use something more high quality, like the products that I use for What The K, usually my skin does not feel stripped like that. So I'm curious to see how this one feels. I forgot to mention this is $20 and it was purchased at Sephora. They do advertise that it's for all skin types. It's supposed to help with pores, dryness, and oiliness. So I guess it's truly for all skin types if it helps you with dryness and or oiliness. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, the ingredients in this, the number one ingredient is water. The second is glycerin, which is a humectant. Its job is to pull moisture from the air into your skin. I would worry about the glycerin if it was a moisturizing product, but because it is a cleanser, you're, you know, it's pulling the moisture out of the water and the air and putting it into your skin, which is awesome. There is a bit of concern in dry climates with moisturizers that use a lot of glycerin, but this is, it doesn't apply to this. The next ingredient is the cleanser, and then there's something called penicillin glycol, which is a humectant and a solvent. And then there's something called tamarindus indica seed gum. And I couldn't find anything directly on that ingredient, but for tamarind, it is supposed to have similar effects to hyaluronic acid. I found it off of a website that I'm not familiar with, so please take that information with a grain of salt. I don't know if it's true or not. If you know anything about that ingredient, I would love to know about it in the comments below. After that, we have rice bran oil, and then we have jojoba seed oil. Then we have another cleanser, and then glucose, and then the charcoal powder. So I wouldn't count charcoal powder as being a huge major ingredient in this if that's an ingredient that you look for in skincare. All right, now that we've gotten through all of that, let's go ahead and let us... I just want to stab this thing so bad. Okay, because I don't have running water in this room, I'm going to be using a wet towel for this, and then I will splash water on my face after we're all finished. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pop the ball, which I'm really excited about. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this up a little bit closer and let's pop this ball together, shall we? All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. I'm scared of it. I'm scared it's gonna... I'm scared of it. I don't wanna ruin it. It's not poking, <laughs> it's not working. Maybe if I poke it on this side. It's not like, I'm, it's not working. Oh, I popped.
topped it. Well, that was anticlimactic. I thought it was gonna like, I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's oozing, it's oozing. Is it supposed to ooze? Did I, did I puncture the cleanser part? Oh, I'm scared. What is happening? What is happening here? What is happening? It's just oozing out product. I thought it was gonna like pop and be cool. Did I do this wrong? Cause you're supposed to discard. Oh, there it went. <laughs> it just went rolling across my floor. So now it has dog hair all over it. That's just fabulous. That is not what I wanted. I'm going to go rinse this off and I'll be right back. Just a quick note, as I was cleaning up, I noticed that I did not understand the directions. Apparently my reading comprehension is not that great. So what I was supposed to do was leave the ball inside the container, then peel this sticker off, and then I was supposed to lance it right there. So I wasn't supposed to take it out, and that's why uh, it wasn't being poked in the correct spot, and that's why it fell onto the floor was because that is the best way to do it. And apparently I just have no reading comprehension skills because I didn't get that, but I did want to show you the way it's really supposed to be done. So if you do get this, you do do it correctly. Okay, I am not quite sure what happened, but uh, yeah, so now we have the jelly ball and it feels just like that. It feels like a giant, like really solid jello jiggler. And you can see the suds are already coming up a little bit on this. Uh, I'm gonna zoom you out so you can see my face a little bit better. So now I'm gonna wet my face and then we're gonna rub this all over my face except for my eyes. Okay, so let us rub. Ooh, it's got a fragrance to it. I didn't see any um, fragrance in there, but it definitely has a fragrance to it. It feels very nice. It's very smooth. It's definitely one of those oddly satisfying feelings, like literally rubbing a jello ball all over your face. It's very calming. I really want to rub it on my eyes, but I'm not going to do it. Okay. So I rubbed it all over my face. I'm going to go ahead and take the day off with this. And I'm just going to rub this on my eyes. Uh, take my eye makeup off. Okay. And then we're just going to use this to wipe it off. Just for now. And then I'll, wa I'll wash my face in a minute. What I'll probably end up doing with this is doing the oil-based cleanser first and then doing the um, the Bosha ball afterward. Ooh, my eyes are a little bit cloudy. I hope I didn't accidentally get some of the, um, the Bosha in my eyes because I can see a little bit of cloudiness and I'm not used to that with the um, take the day off. Just FYI and full disclosure, Clinique did send me this with no obligation to review. This is just the one that I've been using regularly, so that's the one that I brought out. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you out since I've used the ball now and tell you kind of what I think right now. Okay, the cloudiness in my eyes is still there, so I'm actually gonna go wash my face and put in some eye drops and I'll be right back because it's kind of freaking me out. I just splashed some water on my face, dried my face, put a couple of eye drops in, and now I'm good. So I definitely don't recommend getting this in your eyes. Uh, the cloudy thing kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if it's dangerous, but because it says avoid eye area, I would definitely do this differently next time, making sure not to get it in my eyes. Um, one thing that I don't like, that's the same thing that Christy said, was that uh, she didn't like that it doesn't have its own like separate cool casing to keep it in. It's just got this little plastic, you know, piece here and it would be nice if it was something that was enclosed. I mean, even if it was made out of plastic, something, you know, that, that would close on it, you know, and keep it encased instead of just this box here that's just some random box. I totally agree with her on that. That's a big major fail. Um, the popping thing was not as cool as I thought it was going to be. So if you're getting it for the popping experience, 
it definitely wasn't worth $20 for the popping experience. My face does feel a little bit dry. Of course, I am going to do the rest of my skincare routine with the toner and my serum and my moisturizer and all of that. But overall, I mean, I feel like my face is definitely clean. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of makeup on today. I did use the Fenty Beauty Foundation, but I used a very little bit. I'm trying it all different ways. So you could see when, you know, I started the video, you could barely even tell I had any foundation on, and it's because of the way that I applied the Fenty Foundation which was with my fingertips, <laughs> which I never do, but I just wanted to try something different to see if I what kind of finish I would get. I'll, I'll get more into it when I get into my Fenty Beauty review, but um, yeah, that was a fail. Uh, but that's why it looked like I didn't have a whole lot of foundation on, but I did, and I, my face definitely feels cleansed. Bosha says that with proper use, the jelly ball should last up to 45 days. So I am going to be switching over to this. I was using one of my Korean Beauty cleansers, the, the Whip Cream one that I did a while back. I was using that one. But I'm going to switch over to this one now since um, since I don't want this one to go bad. I want to definitely use it. I, I don't know if I'm super blown away by the way that my skin feels right now, which surprises me because it does have a lot of hydrating ingredients in it. My skin doesn't feel bad, but I wasn't expecting it to feel tight at all, and it just feels slightly tight. Based on the ingredients for this and just the bits that I know about these ingredients, it seems like it really would be good for sensitive skin and also really good for dry skin because there aren't any ingredients in here that look particularly super drying and also it has the hydrating ingredients in there like the glycerin and the rice bran oil and the hoba seed oil so if you do have dry skin this would probably be a nice cleanser for you but you definitely want to follow it up with moisturizer afterward because I can feel a little bit of tightness also beware if you are sensitive to scents this does have a scent to it it's very it's kind of a mixture between like a clean scent and a floral scent, but you can definitely smell it as you apply. So definitely if you're sensitive to scents, you might want to skip this one because I think it would probably give you a headache and bother you if you're sensitive. Even though there isn't any fragrance listed, there is a strong scent in my opinion. So overall, is this worth 20 bucks? I don't know. I think that it's how much you like the novelty of it because it does feel amazing rubbing it all over your face. It feels really good. I love the way that it feels um, and it's fun. It's a fun product, it's a unique product, it's a different product. And if that's worth 20 bucks to you, definitely go for it, have some fun. I know I'm gonna be having fun with this. I probably won't buy another one of these after this one's gone, but the experience is definitely, it's fun. It's a fun product. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. What the K should be back, not next week, because next week I'll be at uh, Generation Beauty in New York, but the following week I did jump order four new Korean beauty products that I'm really excited to try. They were all found on the Asian Beauty Reddit page, so they're all ones that were recommended by the Reddit community, so I'm very excited to try them. I've got a variety of different things to show you, so we'll look out for that in two weeks, and thanks again so much for watching. Mad love, and I'll see you in a video soon. Bye!